Over the last few months, my colleagues and I have documented the emergence of a censorship industrial complex, which has censored ordinary Americans online. But until a few days ago, we did not understand that governments around the world were on the cusp of imposing what can only be described as a totalitarian system to end freedom of speech as we know it. The European Union in particular is seeking sweeping new powers to regulate social media companies. Because of its economic power and its global influence, the EU may change how social media companies operate worldwide. Under the EU's Digital Services Act, large tech companies must share their data with so-called vetted researchers from nonprofits and academia, which would then cede content moderation to NGOs and, and their state sponsors. But the attacks are also underway in the US. The so-called Restrict Act, which is sponsored by Senator Mark Warner of Virginia, threatens a 20-year prison sentence or $250,000 fine to anyone who accesses blacklisted websites through a so-called virtual private network, which are ways to create private connections between computers or phones and the internet. Also, in Ireland, the government may soon be able to imprison citizens simply for possessing material that officials describe as hateful. In Canada, a state agency can filter and manipulate what Canadians see online. In Australia, a single government official can compel social media companies to remove posts. There has been no moment similar to this one in the roughly 30 years of widespread public internet usage in Western societies. Officials have introduced these policies mostly in the dead of night with little publicity or outcry. There's been a virtual blackout of what's happening by mainstream news media companies, with many of them appearing to support the new laws. We are thus witnessing the emergence of a governmental apparatus with the power to control the information environment in ways that determine what people believe to be true and what they believe to be false.